What's up, financers? In honor of Black History Month, ENO Finance is coming at you with five black-owned publicly traded businesses. But before we begin, please don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, welcome to the channel where money makes money. It brings me great honor to talk about these five businesses, not just because it's Black History Month, but because this video brings to light how there is a clear systematic difference between publicly traded companies and black owned publicly traded companies. Just to give you a glimpse of what I'm referring to, as of April 2020, out of the 11 million businesses in the United States, there's only 637,769 black owned businesses. That's just 5.45% of businesses. When you get to publicly traded companies, this number is much, much lower. A report done by the Wall Street Journal in 2017 found that out of the 3,671 publicly traded companies in the United States, only eight were black owned. For a company to be labeled as a black owned or minority owned business, he or she has to own 51% or more of that company's shares. Now that we understand why I am honored in doing this video, the first company on this list is Global Blood Therapeutics, ticker symbol GBT. GBT is leading the charge against sickle cell disease by developing different treatments and therapies. With its recent approval from the FDA of one of their sickle cell treatments, they saw a net sell of 36.9 million and $82.5 million reported for the September 2020 quarter. GBT closed Friday at a price of $50.12 at the time of this recording. This is between its 52-week high of $83.69 and its 52-week low of $36.49. Even though GBT has yet to make a profit, we believe that GBT will continue to lead the way against the fight with sickle cell disease and in return, be able to expand in the future. The second company on this list pays tribute to the first African-American woman to head a publicly traded company called Urban One, ticker symbol U-O-N-E and U-O-N-E-K. In 1999, Kathy Hughes became the first African-American woman to chair a publicly held corporation following the sale of more than 7 million shares of common stock to the public. Urban One is a media company that operates radio, cable, media, and digital outlets that focuses on African-American and urban listeners. Urban One is the largest African-American owned and operated broadcast company in the nation. What saddened me upon my research of this company is that on June of 2020, it saw record smashing numbers, jumping from a price of $2.18 to $54.16, reaching its peak on June 19th, 2020, to then come plummeting down to where it currently stands, giving no chance for the company to use the gain momentum to expand and develop. Analysts credit this growth to Urban One's support in the BLM movement and the available shares at that present time. I would like to think that this was not a pump and dump due to the tensions that were going on at the time and it was the community showing support to Urban One's business and service. Let me bring the passion down for this video a little bit and get to the next company on this list, which is American Shared Hospital Service, ticker symbol AMS. AMS is a company that leases radio surgery and radiation therapy equipment to healthcare providers. Its founder, Dr. Ernest A. Bates, a New York native, was one of the nation's first three African-American boards certified in neurosurgery. He started this company in 1983, leasing state-of-the-art medical equipment to hospitals in the United States, South America, and Turkey. We believe that once this pandemic is over, hospitals will be able to once again provide services that require the use of their equipment. The last company on this list, Axum Therapeutics, ticker symbol AXSM, has seen massive gain over the past two years, jumping from a penny stock of $1.94 to a massive $109 stock. 
Axum is a therapeutics company who engages in developing novel therapies for central nerve system CNS disorders in the United States. Axum's recent rise in value is dedicated to its breakthrough therapy drug, the AXS05, which showed promising results in fighting a disorder caused by Alzheimer's disease. Oxum was founded by its CEO, Dr. and forgive me if I mispronounce his last name, Harriet Teabeu Teayau, who has many accomplishments, such as getting his MD from Yale University of Medicine and his Bachelor's of Arts in Molecular Biology and Biochemistry from Wesleyan University. If Axum continues on its path of achievements, we believe this company will continue to grow in the next few years as the numbers of Americans affected by the Alzheimer's disease continues to grow. Given everything that's been going on and the things we have noticed in the YouTube stock community, we want to give a full disclaimer. The companies on this list have reported negative earnings. However, we believe that these companies have the potential and felt that Given what these companies have achieved over recent years, their fundamental service and product will grow in the near future. So please, always do your own research before investing. We did this video to provide information about these companies and talk about some of the companies we will be investing in throughout this month. Given recent events that's been happening in the market, we feel that the need to be fully transparent with our audience has never been greater. As we said in our forgotten market video, we are in a new era of investing. Thank you for taking the time out of your day as I honor these black owned businesses that went public. And as always, if you find this information useful, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and set your alerts to receive more content like this one. See you guys on the next one. And remember to follow the three M's money makes money.